Ah, uh, welcome back everyone to an episode of Morocco. So guys, the finishing acts of the war where I will be taking what I want from these Moro from these uh, Mamalukians and then I'll probably take some from the Omanians. Probably what I'm thinking about doing is releasing Yemen and then annexing them and then I'll use Yemen to go feed my vassal because Yemen has a lot of cores around here. So I could probably use it to my advantage. Okay, but let's see. What can we get out of you guys? Hmm. <laughs> So, can we get what I want? I definitely want Judea. Oof. That takes 92%. 92. Okay, but I definitely want Balashim, and this would probably... Can I take out that? You guys will accept. Oof. Okay. But I definitely don't want you guys... Can If I divide... If I could get it to this point, then I basically divide the empire into three parts. Which would be really nice. Return cores to Fuji. Hmm. Don't really care about Fuji, though. Release nations of... Hmm. You know, I could probably do that in a future war and then just annex them from there. So that would probably divide the empire even more, but I just want to make sure the empire is divided. So let's see if we got that. Hmm. And I think this is what I'd probably want. So, let's just wait until I finish up with those sieges right there. Because those sieges aren't going to take much longer. Let's be real here. There we go. And one more. And if I have to, I'll go send an army to go to Cyprus. But once these guys are all finished, 70% chance. 77% chance. Come on, just fall. You know you're done. Just fall. 84% chance. Oh my goodness. Fall. Fall. There we go. Oh my goodness. That is like insane amounts of craziness. Okay. So. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, you guys will accept everything I just offered. And money. There we go. Send demands. Alright, and I'm recording right now. Give me one second, guys. I have to deal with something. Okay, guys, back. So, yeah, I got my five prestige for conquering Alice's theme. And I officially gained a missionary and a yearly prestige because I did conquer Jerusalem, which was... Oh! Barnacles. I didn't see that. <laughs> okay, that was kind of a little bit stupid of me. I did not see that that would actually give them the core. Although, this is completely unaccepted culture and completely unaccepted religion, so most likely these guys will actually become uh, anti- anti-niceness in a few days. Okay. Anyways, let's get back to the Omanians, who are definitely not going to be in this war. All I want you to do, and I know this is going to be really, 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 really kind of weird, I just want you to release the nation of Yemen. Wait, Najed or Yemen? Hmm. Uh, I can't cancel vassals. Why can't I get cancel vassals? Aren't you guys a vassal of Hedges? Oh, you guys are a vassal of Hedges. I thought you guys were a vassal of somebody else. Okay. All I want you guys to do is release, is release the nation of Yemen. That's all. That's all you guys have to do, and then this war of a war ends. And you guys don't have to fight it anymore. And yes, Iraq has formed a militaristic coalition against us. Probably figures. And I'm going to group all my soldiers into one gigantic stack and then start dividing them up from there. Because I feel like if I don't do it, the Mamelukes are now in a military coalition against us. Boo-hoo. And let's start getting all this cord. Because there's a lot of stuff to be cored right now. Uh, that's already cord. Let's get this cord. And look at that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Our empire kind of looks weird right now because we didn't quite get what I wanted. But still. <laughs> still. Okay, so divide it up. And then divide up again. So send the 20 stick stack over there. Send the... Divide this up again. Send this stack over there. There we go. I want to have at least about four armies in this, evenly divided. That makes it much easier for me. Yeah, there we go. Okay. No mission selected. Colonize Born. Wait, what's Born? 
Let's see, where's born? Just so I know where it is. Born. Born, where's born? They want me to colonize born. You have no colonists to send. Well, do I really want to start entering the Spice Islands? I mean, they really are high amounts of stuff, but your overextension's too high. Well, give me a second, I'll have that down in a second. But, reduce overextension. You know what? Let's take this mission just because I will probably get that way quicker than anything else in this game. Alright, and we have tons of money right now, so we should probably be spending it, so... Constables. Oh. Okay, well that was quick. Okay. Uh, no constables, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah. Look at that. That looks like... Ooh. Didn't mean to do that right there. I did not just mean to just help them out. But yes, now that we have like, well, I guess it's not too bad. Lose 15 naval tradition. How important is navy to me right now? Navy is insanely important to me. Yeah, <laughs> because it's. I hate to admit it, but navy is insanely important to me. Um, morale of arm. Actually, you know what? This would actually be pretty good. Having a 25% bonus to morale of armies would greatly uh, would greatly help the armies. I don't. I would have right now, because look at that land morale. 6.63 right now, just because I'm really a pious nation. I'm kind of hoping that maybe I could actually convert some of these places, but apparently not. Okay, so Armenia has ro risen up against me. Not necessarily one of my most proudest moments. I have different cultures now all in my land. Oi, the Armenians are going to be annoying to convert. Georgian, I'm probably just going to convert to my culture, but not exactly quickly. The stuff deal with a lot. Invited, okay, Morocco, Iraq is less hateful towards me. That's basically what that's saying. All right, fabricated, whatever, whatevs. Okay, and let me see. Do I want to take Defender of the Faith? By the way, morale of armies, morale of navies, yearly prestige, technology cost. Ooh, the technology cost would not be good. <laughs> um, especially right now since I'm still trying to catch up and. I'm doing a lot of either by you or what people would say I would say either good decisions or bad decisions I would say a little both so anyways we have Russia still hating us France is still hating us Castile is actually not hating us as much which might be a good thing to do because we do need some new allies uh, join the coalition against them who's in the coalition right now the Aztecs that's not exactly a strong coalition if I do say so myself so, let me see, would you guys ever become my... No, because you guys hate me. You guys are in a personal union. By the way, you guys are a colonist. Huh, that's pretty cool. Alright, Hesse. Yeah, most of these guys are all, like, very anti-me because they know who I am. Ooh, I have destroyed many nations. I have broken many destroys. Uh, you guys actually love us. For some strange reason, you guys love us. And you know what? Let's see if we can use that to our own advantage. Maybe we can get these guys as our little puppets. While they're still really low and weak. And maybe then we could like feed them into like Aragon. Hmm. That's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> Alright, yes. Killing it. Got another colony down in here. Let's get the last little bit of, of Madagascar. And then I officially own that island. Yes. And then, the Castilians have insulted me again. You know, this happens a lot, Castile, so why do you even... Uh, okay, Castile, I don't really want to deal with you for a little bit, so just... Let's try to be friendly towards each other. Okay, just let's just try. Ooh, Austria. Wait, Austria isn't that big in this game, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Armies, the total... The biggest nations are Russia, France, Morocco. Yeah, Morocco! Oh, Yeah, we're actually not that bad right now. We're just... The only reason why we're losing is because we haven't min-maxed all of our forces, but we have probably the second biggest force limit right now, which is insane. So that means we could probably take on most nations, but... Um... E oh my goodness, Persia is actually pretty big in terms of force limit. So, but... Austria, in terms of this game, is not that powerful. And honestly, I'm going to have enough trouble trying to deal with the Hungarian alliance. 
So yeah, let's just let's just keep all relationships as they are, cause I like them as they are. <laughs> okay, all right, but we could, I guess, in a sense, do improve relationships with Austria. I mean, it wouldn't be necessarily bad, just wouldn't benefit us in any way. All right. So for the rest of the world, though, we are just chilling now. We're just waiting for our for our good old friends over here to do what they need to. So that we can go, ooh, uh, Austria, sorry, give me one second, I'll send my, I'll send this guy right back to you, but I have to deal with something. Oh, gosh, lose ducats, Treviso, or lose prestige, ah, we can actually lose prestige, I actually have enough ducats right now. Or, oh, I actually like my ducats. <laughs> okay, build that. Hmm, we can actually build some three level forts. Nah, 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 nah. I want to keep, I want to keep my militaristics. Cause I really want to get what I need to. Okay. So once I get my, once I get my little guy back, his name is Salint Salari. Now that I got him back, let's go see Oman. Oman, you guys about ready to admit the defeat? Yeah, cause you, you guys know that I'm just going to destroy you if, if, if I really like, if, if I really let this happened and you guys are going to be uh, almost torn apart hmm let's see we could probably get rid of this yeah there we go send demands and yeah <laughs> okay Yemen we have to get this quickly so once my diplomats come back we're gonna instantly start improve relationships and Oman is now in the militaristic coalition against us. Whoop de doo. <laughs> I would say that's actually a threat to me, but in all honesty, it is nowhere near anything but an annoyance. Okay. Uh sell a province from Persia. What? Oh my goodness, this is never What? Y you gonna sell a province to me, Persia? Really? Oh, I don't even care what the amount is. Yes! Oh my goodness, that's never happened to me before in the game. I've never had an AI ever sell me a province. That's actually kind of cool. So they actually do take in the fact that that was a little bit too far from the Empire to manage. And, oh, that's that's really kind of cool. Okay, but now, now it's time to start dealing with all these kind of difficult situations and different things happening. It seems like Hedges is offering us a royal marriage. Do I want to take it? You know what? We could probably take it. I mean, I'm not going to be at war with the Hedges for a little bit. And besides, even if they try to declare war on me, their tribal, di wait, their tech group, Muslim, which means they're not going to be anywhere near as powerful as us. So, yeah, you guys are in a coalition against us. Understandable. You guys, who, my mission, my dad is almost back. We're going to try to vassalize these as quickly as possible before those other jerkwads of a pff, nation do anything. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we cannot because our, their opinion of us is bad. Let's start improving it and maybe they'll start improving relationships with us. They're improving relationships with the Mamelukes. That's a stupid idea. I'm going to destroy the Mamelukes. And I don't mean just destroy, I'm going to flat out beat them into the pulp. Okay, well we have two missionary strengths, so that should give us at least some missionary strength. Okay, so yes, it seems like most of these are now kind of easy to convert. Well, I wouldn't like to say easy, I'd just like to say we're already working on a core. Okay, so let's just start working on some of these. Yeah, just let's just see if we can convert some of these. So we can like start advancing our nation in terms of unity, because usually we don't get this opportunity to like be diplomatic. Yeah, I could do that. Like, we need to keep our diplomatic advantages up. Whatever we can get, wherever we can hide, we need to keep that up. And right now I have a ton of money and I don't know what to spend it on. <laughs> that usually never happens. And let's see, how much are we making per month now? Holy moly! Dang, okay, that's a lot of money. Okay, so, uh, and our army force limit is insanely high right now. Um, I, I, I guess it's time to build more units. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
10, 11, 12, 12, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, and then let's build the cannons. Okay, so I built 12, so it's going to be about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh my goodness, that's so much money! So much money! Excellent year! Oh my goodness, there's even more manpower too. Oh my goodness, that's so much. Okay, let's get that core right there. Get that thing right there. Oh my goodness, got religious. Got my religious guys working on it. So they'll finish in 1870. Did they say 1870? Uh, fully converted in 1670. Uh... I'm not sure if that's really good or really bad, but I feel like it would even go faster if we just like national sediment. Shoot. That might be a little bit of a problem, especially since now I have Egyptian. Yep. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Uh, okay, let's get like a lot of rebel hunters. Everyone's going to be a rebel hunter right now. And this, this unit is basically going to be my protection for everything over here. Because I really do think I need a unit over here. Yeah, everyone go upwards through my land and through the weird looking Morocco. Wow, this is really looking weird. But right now we're still kind of in transition mode because... Yeah, okay. I think, I'm at, I think I'm at peace now enough to go to war Kilwa. So, let's go see. I have no diplomats to send. Okay, uh, who would be a really... I think France would actually be the quickest. Let's see. Would Napoli accept... No, they would not accept vassalization. Okay, well, I'm taking these guys back then. Get these guys back to our coast, and then we're going to go see how our relationship is with Kilwa. We got a self-sustaining colony over here, guys. That's good. Okay, and let's see. What's our current mission right now? Is reduced overextension. We're doing that pretty effectively. Okay. And then from here, what should we do? Oh my goodness, Vagina Guard, you have become a threat. Uh, and well, well, who are you guys allied with? Uh, with Bengal and a coalition against the Mongols. Hmm. I want to get near them because. It, it, it does say when I have United Islam, what do I need? Uh, Lower Sid. So I'm going to need Lower Sid. Mecca, Medina, Mesa, Padol, Damascus, Sokland, Aden, Musklet. So a lot, of that, a lot of that land is over here in this region. But yeah, don't you dare. Don't. How am I not the same religion? You gotta be kidding me. This is like the one Sunni place. Oh my goodness. Uh, we just need a statesman. Do we have a statesman? Okay, let's see. Do we have a statesman right now? No, we don't. Uh, do we have a statesman? No, we don't. Uh, dang it. We just need like a couple points and then we'd be right there. That's so sad. That's like literally right there. That makes me so mad. Oh gosh. Okay, and we do have another merchant assassinated. Is leaving Timbuktu. That stinks. Okay, so we do have an extra merchant. We could expand over there, but I think what we should probably do is finally start like filling in some of this land right here. Because we've been kind of neglecting all this land, and it honestly does make our empire look... Oh my goodness, both of them got killed? Wow. Okay, I'm going to have to wait for our new uh, people to come back, and let's see. Our trade node is still dominated by us. Uh, the Ivory Coast is being transacted by us again. Uh, give us a couple seconds, I guess. Manpower! Oh my goodness, we have so much manpower! Merchant returns home in about a day. Okay, there we go. Transfer trade power. I'm gonna use him to transfer trade power. And then from there, I'm gonna transfer trade power. Let's see, what would be the better direction? Hmm. See, this is going out about 2.22.5 ducats. Filter that in, and then 
But actually, wait a minute, it's actually not going towards my empire. It's going towards this trade node. So... Oh man, this is this is this is getting kind of this is getting kind of risky because now my node is getting like invaded by all Europeans. But I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.